Flamborough Downs, and driver David Duncan demonstrated his best trick riding. Keep your eye on the number nine horse as they hit the first quarter. The line must have been too good, and it broke, and my horse veered to the inside, and the first thing was to jump off. But sometimes you hurt yourself more jumping off, so I thought next thing, the horse is pretty small, I'll jump on his back, and then once it jumped on his back, the line had broke halfway down its back, so it came out of the harness and it was dragging. So I had to reach right up beside his head and grab it beside his mouth and pull him up. And it was pretty, pretty exciting. The absence of a hub rail at Flamborough no doubt prevented serious injury. Disaster and emerged with life and limb intact. I thought I bought her. Didn't remember a whole lot until <laughs> I woke up from the in the hospital and I remembered what happened in the race. Linda, explain exactly what happened. Could you foresee uh, foresee this happening? I could see it coming. The whole thing. The horse was next to me. He um, run sideways into me and hit my horse's legs and which knocked me sideways. My brother Dave come and hooked my wheel and flipped me off and the horse landed on top of me. As soon as I hit the ground, I was out. Well, they had me in the hospital from 11 till 2 and I was out cold until half an hour before I left. And black eye and I had a concussion. I got a bad bruise on the back of my head and sore neck. If it were I, I'd be selling programs following this at Flamborough Downs. Uh, are you going to get back in the sulky? Uh, they won't let me for the next two days, but after, you'll see them Monday. I'll be up back out Monday at Mohawk. <laughs> and an amazing story when you consider the fact that Linda weighs about 100 pounds. Ty Cat Trivia. Glencoe Moneymaker, the rain breaks, the right rain. How else are you going to stop the horse? Hey. Well, David Duncan says, there's only one way to do it. There's only one way to do it, Tonto, and that is... Oh. I owe Silver! Away! And he jumps on the back of the horse, and now he's got to grab the horse around oh. the neck to That's stop great. him. Great. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It happens very uh, occasionally, and a lot of times the horse and driver are hurt. But in that case, David Duncan saved himself, saved the horse, and saved this week's Hebsey Awards. Jim and I will be back in 30 seconds. Loves to hit indoors, too. Oh, yeah. There's an article this week in Sports Illustrated that the Jays' home runs in the Sky Dome are yeah. up one per game yeah. over last year. That's yeah, both teams, and McGriff, you know, has uh, done really well. That thing at Flamborough Downs mm. with uh, David Duncan, the driver there. Uh, Very nice move. That's, that's something, you know, you don't think about it. Okay, horse racing and all the horse races that go on all over North America. What happens when a horse falls or some equipment breaks? And I got to, I mean, a jockey is already on the back of a horse. This guy's sitting there going, okay, now what do I do? Ah, uh, that was nothing. I've, I've seen westerns where guys do it in stagecoaches. Yeah, and Dave Duncan probably.